Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com, here to bring you another gear review. And today, talking water bottles, this one right here, 32 ounce Summit Water Bottle by Simple Modern. Big picture, if you do things and are active, live outside of a cubicle or an apartment where you don't have running water at your fingertips, you ultimately need a way of carrying water and something to drink out of, so water bottles. To that end, you have kind of the gold standard with respect to being outdoors, Nalgene bottles. They're amazing, made out of Lexan. They also have the other one made out of, I don't remember what. The Lexan one's like borderline indestructible. Threw one off a three-story mount building back in the Marine Corps to see if it would explode. It didn't, it was actually dented. Also overseas, ended up getting uh, ran over by LAB. You saw the story behind my uh, tattoo, red one. And yeah, now Gene bottle in my pack. Pack got destroyed, put a little dent in it. They're awesome. But there's some things that they don't do well. Again, granted, they are well supported, such as the actual thread pitch on them is kind of universal within the industry. So like MSR water filters, for example, you can screw them straight on there, pump straight into them, that's awesome. But again, like what don't they do? Well, they don't think keep things hot and they also don't keep things cold. So that's where insulated water bottles come in. This of course is made out of stainless steel. And the big part though is it's insulated. Well, I know some people like their single wall stainless steel water bottles cause it's recyclable or BPA free, all that stuff. That's great. My experience, I cannot stand single walled metal water bottles, aluminum, stainless steel, whatever. Usually I'm hard on them. They get dented. Now you have less volume. And the even bigger thing is really good at transferring heat. So pour something cold in, it's freezing cold to the touch. Pour something hot in, you may or may not be able to grab it because now it's screaming hot. So insulated water bottles. Are they for everyone? Maybe not, because here's the thing. If you're a fair weather hiker, camper, something along those lines, it may or may not matter. If you go kind of in that peak, beautiful time of year, not too hot, not too cold, it doesn't really matter. You can leave your Nalgene bottle out, maybe in direct sunlight for a little bit, no big deal. Where this comes into play is basically getting into those extremes. So on the one hand, if you've ever ventured out into the snow on adventures overnight or prolonged periods of time, if you have a uninsulated water bottle, whether it's metal or like a Nalgene bottle, you have to protect it. You need to keep it somewhere insulated. Like Outdoor Research makes great little insulated sleeve for Nalgene bottles. Again, just one more thing you have to carry, but six one way, half dozen the other. Things like this though really shine there because I can, like if it's really cold at night, I will go ahead and boil some water because there's usually no running water, it's just snow. Pour that in here, seal it up. When I wake up in the morning, open this thing up, it's still nice and warm, which is amazing on a really cold morning when there's like six feet of snow outside. So the other place that these are actually amazing is hot weather. Because usually what happens is I will go to the beach over on the lake with my boys and rather than setting this under a towel or something like that, my boys will take a sip of water because they're thirsty and then set it there in the blazing sun. Or also one of my favorites is when they decide to leave our water bottle in the car. So we go to do something, get back to the car and the thing's sitting on the passenger seat just like roasting. And if you have a Nalgene bottle or something like that, now you basically have unflavored tea. Whereas with this, pick it up, maybe pick it up on the side that wasn't exposed to sun, because it might be screaming hot on the outside. But when you open this thing up, nice cold water. That is incredible. Having spoken to the use case and the virtues of insulated water bottles, we'll speak directly to this one. Dimensionally, about nine inches tall, about three and a half inches wide, and then the actual opening here, about two and a quarter inches. Plenty of room if you need to throw ice, 
something along those lines in there. And it's also wide enough to where you can wash this thing. It's made out of 18.8 stainless steel, I believe it is. And hand wash only, not supposed to go in the dishwasher. Not sure why. And while this is double walled insulated, the inside of it is actually copper lined. I don't understand the science behind it, but apparently that does a better job with respect to insulating whatever's in here, be it hot or cold. This one also, it comes with two different lids, a flip top, which I don't use because one, it's one more thing for me to clean after my dirty boys, like half eaten sandwich and start drinking out of it. Don't really want to do that. Not to say it doesn't stay out of this, but this one's easier to clean. And this is also attached, so I don't lose it. Again, for my use, I actually like this lid on here. Weight-wise, which is where you end up losing people, I think just over 13 ounces. So yeah, it's gonna be heavier than Nalgene bottles or anything like that. But if you're an ultralighter, probably not the thing for you. Of course, you're probably not an ultralighter when it's freezing out either because it's hard to be ultra light when you have to pack all the warming layers. One more note with respect to just kind of sizing of this water bottle is it will fit into pretty much anything an algae would fit into. Like dimensionally, it's more or less the same, which is handy if you have water bottle pockets on the side of your pack, anything along those lines. And the other nice thing about this is 23 bucks shipped on Amazon, Amazon Prime. Some insulated water bottles, some people are pretty proud of them. I don't know if they're made out of something other than stainless steel, but 23 bucks I think is a pretty good deal. Again, goes back to use case. If you need a water bottle because you ride your bike down the street to the gym and then work out and then ride your bike home, it might not be for you unless you want nice cold beverages or conversely, something nice and hot during the cold months. Does a great job, keep things hot, keep things cold, and pretty durable. I've definitely dropped this from some heights, haven't busted it. Is it as indestructible as an algae? It is not, but things held up to quite a bit of abuse between myself as well as my boys. So if you're looking for an insulated water bottle, I would encourage you to pick one up. This one's definitely done good for me, but as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.